Hi everyone, I'm Alina. Today I'm going to show you an introductory tutorial on getting started with SLT-10. It includes create a project, set up station, measurement, point stake out and data export import. Now let's start! In a program interface, select Surveying. Choose Set Job. Then New. Enter the job name, Operator, Note 1, Note 2 in sequence. And select OK. The project setup is now complete. First, select Set STA. Input the station name and press Enter to complete the input. Select Chord. Manually input the station coordinates or press F1 to search for previously saved station coordinates or select station coordinates in List. Input the instrument height and select OK. Select Set BS for station setup and input the name. Select Chord, manually input the backsite point coordinates, where you can also press F1 to search for previously saved coordinates of this point name, or select backsite point coordinates in List. Then, input prism height. Select EDM for measurement setting. Choose the EDM mode as single. Choose reflector as prism. Input prism constant, which is usually marked on the prism. Select Atmos. Choose Auto. The total station will automatically acquire parameters through the temperature and pressure sensors, then select OK. Aim at the center of the prism mounted at the back sight point. Select All for measurement, and the station setup is completed. Select Start to begin measurement. Enter the point name and prism height. Press F4 to find EDM, then press F3 to set up EDM following the same steps as before. Aim at the center of the prism. Select All for measurement and save the data. Enter Program Interface. Click F2 to select Stakeout. Before starting the stakeout, we need to set Job, STA, and BS. The setting steps for these three items have been demonstrated before, so I will not repeat them here. You can start the stakeout when this symbol appears for all three items. Select Star to enter the stakeout interface. Choose the stakeout point by entering its name or using the directional keys. Input the prism height. Rotate the total station left or right according to the delta HC arrow until the angle becomes zero. At this point, the total station is horizontally aligned with the stakeout point. Guide the prism holder to position the prism in the direction aligned with the prism sighting, ensuring the prism height matches the height input into the total station. Select DIST to measure the distance from the total station to the prism. According to the horizontal and vertical distance difference displayed on the total station, guide the prism holder to move forward or backward, then reposition the prism and continue measuring until the horizontal distance difference is zero, indicating completion of the stakeout. At this point, the prism's position is the stakeout point's position. Select All to measure and save the coordinates of the stakeout point. Select Transfer using the directional keys to enter the data transfer interface. Choose Export Data, then select Job Data. Press F1 again to choose the specific project data to export. 
After selecting the project, sequentially choose the data type and export mode. We'll use the UDISC export method as an example. Open the protective cover above the battery case, insert the UDISC, and choose export. The export process is complete. Use the directional keys to select, transfer, to enter the data transfer interface. Choose, import data, then select, fix PT. Select the import mode, choose the import format. Insert the UDISC. Then click, source, to select the file you need to import. Finally click, import. The import process is complete. That's all. Have you learned it?